In this demonstration, we will review some of the basics of uh, creating a document using Microsoft Word and using some of the formatting options within Word 2013. To start off with, I'm going to open Microsoft Word by clicking on the blue W. Within Word, it takes me to an opening screen where I can select from a variety of templates, but for our purposes, I'm just going to go with blank document. And I just have to click once. I'm going to create a simple flyer here regarding a bake sale. So I'll type in my text. Um, I typed in my text. I hit enter a couple of times. You can see that Word has gone through and changed the spelling of my items. So for easily misspelled words, it actually changes them for me. I'm purposely misspelling a word here so we can see how the spell check works. Okay, so you can see that I've got my text in here. I've got a misspelled word. It's giving me a green underline. I can right click on that word and Word will give me some different options on what I could spell it as. So the first one is related and that's good. And I just selected the correct spelling. I can undo that change by clicking this arrow. If I wanted to do spell check for the entire document, I can click on review up in the ribbon and click spelling and grammar. That will take me to all the misspellings within the document. So here I'll put a change and that was all my changes. Okay, next I want to add an image or some clip art. So I'm going to go to insert. And then go to online pictures. And then I'm going to type in apple pie. I just hit enter after doing so. And we can see that there's some different options available. I'll click the one that I like and click insert. Word has now inserted the image. All right, I've got my text, I've got my image. I want to do some formatting now. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to change Apple Bake Sale to Heading 1. Now blue text for an Apple Bake Sale just doesn't seem appropriate. So I'm going to click this down arrow and I can see what other options are available and they're all blue. And that's because the current style is blue. So I'll go to Design up in my ribbon, click the down arrow, and it will give me some different formatting options. I can select the formatting option that I like, and then I can go through and change the color of it even. So I'm going to go with this one over here. Which, let's see, if I put my mouse over it, I can see that it gives me a little bubble that says fancy. I'll go with that. And then for colors, I can click there and it'll give me some predefined color options. We can get red and orange. How about red? There we go. Okay. I want Apple Bake Sale though to be centered. So I'm going to click on Home and click Center. I want the text to be larger. So I can click this Increase Font Size button or I can just type the font that I want in the box. 
I can also change the font type. And there's all kinds of options available. As I scroll through there, I'm using the wheel on my mouse to move through. If I just highlight the font, I can see my text change in the background. Yeah, there we go. And I can even change the font color if I don't like what's automatically provided through the design. So there's my Apple Bake Sale. Next, I want my image to be centered. So I click on my image and I click center. I want it to be larger. So there's these boxes that appear when I've clicked on my image. I can click on the box and drag, which that skewed the image. I don't want that, so I'm going to undo. Go to my corner, drag, and that gives me a much better option. I want my image to be a little bit mm, graphically appealing. So I'm going to click on the image and click Format. And within there, there's all kinds of picture styles available to me. I'll just browse through and see what I like. I'll go with this one. Okay. Next, I've got my line with a little bit more information. And I can just put my mouse over the different styles that are available and see what's going on here. As I look at this, I think I want to change my title from Heading 1 to Title. That just looks a little bit nicer. There we go. And I still have the options on what I want to do with this text. Okay, I'll go back to my other line. I think I like subtitle. So I'm going to go with that option. I still can have control over what the font sizes are, whether it's italics or not. I want apple pies, apple cake, and donuts to be in a bullet form. So I'm going to highlight those three items and I'm just selecting either at the top and dragging down or at the bottom and dragging up and I'll click bullets. Next I want to see if there's a formatting option that will work. I like the subtle one and then I'm going to make the font a little bit larger. Okay. Next, my signature line. I want to do something there. So I'll click on my style. How about I'll use the heading one for my signature line. I want that centered. I want my font to be a little bit different. So I'll go with an aerial black on that one. I'll increase it. And there we go, there's a basic flyer. Now what does this look like? I'm scrolling up and down using the scroll bar, but I wanna see what this looks like in a different view. So I'll go to 100% or zoom. I can say whole page, and I can view the document, what it would look like if it prints out. So based on that, I wanna do a little bit more spacing just to make this more appealing. First, I'm gonna take the image, make it a little bit larger. I'll go after the image and hit enter. I'll go after the bulleted line and hit enter. You'll notice that it automatically creates a bullet. If I hit enter again, it removes the bullet. However, what it just did was put my bottom line on a different page. This is a flyer. I don't want it on two pages. So I'll hit backspace. You can see that it put everything back on one page. Okay. I'll go back to home and I want to apply a border to this flyer. To do that, I'll go to design, page borders, and I can select some from some different border options. Under art, I can actually find one of apples. So there we go. There's the basics of creating a flyer in Word. 
I have created a style. I've added an image. We've created bulleted text. We've selected different text, changed fonts, and I've even done spell check. So that concludes the basics on how to create the flyer. Next, we need to go through and actually save. So I'm going to click the Save button. And the first time I save, it's going to ask me, where do I want to save? So I can go Browse. And for this, um, I'm just going to store it on my documents. That works fine for me. But I also could go through and just create a folder. So I click New Folder. I'll put CMG, double click, and Apple Bake Sale Flyer. Now, what made it actually say Apple Bake Sale by default? I'll click Save and we'll go explore that. What it did was it read the first sentence of the document, which was Apple Bake Sale. So it does give a pretty decent guess as to what we might want to call it, but we can always name things. Um, according to whatever is logical to us so we can find the file later. To close Word, I click on the X in the upper right hand corner. And that's it. That concludes how to create a flyer using Microsoft Word.